Humans and non-humans alike, and good of applies to you. Today we are back on Star Trek Online KDF Let's Play, where we are doing this uh, reunion mission in the Delta Quadrant. Yep. Our first task in the Delta Quadrant is rather mundane for one of your skills, but still necessary. A group of homeless aliens need a new home. A group of Talaxians living in the Antava system are ready to move to a nearby planet. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to their main asteroid base to begin the preparations for the transition. The Admiral has requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. There's no one who knows more about the Delta Quadrant than he does. Roger. You know, take advantage of his expertise and help him out. Apologies for eating sounds, but um, yeah, this is being recorded weekend of Thanksgiving <laughs> in the state in the U.S. So um, I'm stuffing my space right now with leftover appetizers. Don't dodge, don't, don't dodge me. And one thing I hate about Endeavor missions is that the damn things always become automatically primary. And now I am eating little sausages wrapped in bacon. So good. Just try to ignore the chewing. Then let's go say hi to Tuvok. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline. Request assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's good. Federation. Can't even take on a couple of enemy ships. Look at this. Just raiders, too. How old is your ship? I have played this and I am still kicking your ass. Duvok, you are weak. Oh, 
cool ship design, man. I'm sorry, everyone but the Federation has cool ships. <laughs> I'm sorry. Federation ships are honestly, they're just, they're just saucers with sticks attached. Come on, come on. Except for the Voyager. That, that is a, they stretched out the saucer and then put <laughs> sticks on it. Thank you for your assistance. We were en route to the Talaxian base when we were ambushed by the Kazon. The damage is relatively minor, but my crew will require time to make repairs. However, I have a personal request. The leader of the Talaxian colony served with me on Voyager. Would you be willing to take me there? Yeah, fine. This base Come is up. populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time, and now they have found one. Well, that sounds familiar. The Alliance's history with the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. Oh, most assuredly. The Alliance. Making it sound like World of Warcraft. And I hate the Alliance. Kapla! Uh, is that right? Let me, let, let me try again. Greetings, Captain. It is my honor to meet representatives of the Klingon Empire. My name is Neelix, and I served with Balana Torres on the USS Voyager. I am currently Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Perhaps you, you've heard of me. I'm gonna pretend I have. No matter. I've always been curious about the Klingon Empire. I even organized a Day of Honor celebration for Voyager once. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be until the Janolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, and I'm so glad to hear that unpleasantness between the Empire and the Federation is over. I'm planning a trip uh, to sample the cuisine. Uh huh. Sometime. I mean, maybe I'll go to Kronos too, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's just so much to do. Now about this colonization. You've come to help. How wonderful. I guess the Klingon Empire is just as helpful to people in need as my good friends in Starfleet. I'm a little surprised, though. I mean, Alana always said Klingons were uh, grumpy. Uh, I'm sure the Federation appreciates your efforts on its behalf, but can you shut up and talk about this damn colonization? Oh, where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first, the case on Nistrum have been giving us a lot of trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the case on keep knocking them offline, and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? I don't have a choice. I have to do Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nice old root stew for you. <sighs> Fine, I'll go restart your damn generators. What is with the Federation having people who talk way too much? I mean, seriously. First Ugihara, and now this guy? I swear, I think we need to start cutting out their damn tongues just to get some work done. Alright, your Thank shields you so are working. Thank you for your assistance. You may beam down to our base at your leisure. Oh, and speaking in my formal capacity as permanent ambassador, welcome to the Delta Quadrant. Thanks, Neelix. Let's, let's just beam down. Hey, right, who do I have to shoot? I assume every time I beam down somewhere, I have to shoot something.
Neelix, do you mind getting mind controlled by something so I have an excuse to shoot you? So good to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Neelix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss. Yes, yes, please, take up all of Tuvok's time and leave me the hell alone. You look well, Neelix. As do you, family, children. Being here has changed me for the better. Uh, I never saw Voyagers. So I don't know what you were like before. This colony is an improvement on your previous home. Twice as large and completely updated. You should see the kitchen. Mm. But you still seek a new homeworld. Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put down roots. What was that? The operations bay? Dexter was in there! Well, I assume Dex is dead then. Oh, poor Dexa. If only I knew who you were so I could be sad or happy about that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nah, I guess this is why they want a home world. It's much better to defend. I mean, if you take too much structural damage here, you lose everybody. Get just trapped! Please, do something! Well, I can always blow their head off. Ah, damn. Alright, transport him. Now, aren't these transporters convenient? Dex is a little dizzy, but she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her, though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I, I can't help fix them just now. Several of, of our systems I'll are help. malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships. Oh my god, for a second I thought I forgot to record. <laughs> Ah, my memory is shit lately. It'd be my pleasure. Alright, now let's go repair these systems. Maybe I'll get to shoot some of these K's on. Who knows? I hope I get to shoot something. I get antsy when I just walk around. I need blood. Blood and thunder! Forget your alliance! I want the horde! That reminds me, I've seen World of Warcraft, they're doing a classic WoW thing. Server now. I guess that's why they, um, gave a cease and desist letter to that, um, one people who had the private server up. I, ah, I forgot the name. I'm sure someone's gonna probably want to shoot me for that, but... Okay, for this moment, just click one button now, it's a uh, bunch of steps, okay. They really do like their puzzles, don't they? Ah, nice little shuttle designs, too. Okay, and everyone has cool or weird ship designs, except the Federation. <laughs> Uh. 
Alright, now, uh... I'm here. Where is the damaged equipment I'm supposed to be repairing? Up there! Great. Oh, let's see if the old acrobatics work. Yeah! Uh, held down X. And I could just jump up this way. Okay. It's a crane. This shouldn't have too many problems, right? Yay! Can I ride on the crane? And prep, hold down X. Oh, it's too long to get. Oh. Now this way. Where, where, where is the latest broken thing I need to fix? Because apparently when you want something fixed, you call the tactical officer and not the engineer. Okay, so I did have to take the turbo left. And another console. And if I look up, I see exactly what I have to do. Alright, Neelix, I'm coming back. I fixed a bunch of your stuff. Uh, do, are those Kazon gonna beam down so I can shoot them? Again, this is kind of why you want to get off a of space station as soon as possible. Because enough structural damage and the whole thing will pop. Kind of don't want that, especially with civilians wandering around. Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Would you care to accompany me? Of course, Neelix. Because apparently we're being all nice with the Federation now, and we have to do things their way and go, Yes, yes, pleasant these, nice of these, yada yada, etc, etc. If they're trying to make me do politics, I'm just going to start shooting. That's it. If someone tries to make me go political again, I am not sitting down for another peace conference and trying to convince people to fight. I'm just shooting. Are we turning this way? Are we not turning this way? What are we doing? Oxil. And, oh, we lost two of Oh, hello! I'm preparing the most wonderful feast to celebrate the colonization of our new homeworld. And we need to gather spices for the Talaxian Spice Stew. I'll need Rangonzo, Spith Basil, Prishik, and some Nimian Sea Salt. I'm sure if you ask around, someone will have them. And now I'm the fucking sous chef? Isn't Chef Jolax great? He's a good friend, and his falada onion crisp is superb. Shoot me. We're Just traders. Me. A lot of people have spices. But I bet Alex, Brexa, Wixen, and Maxon can help. You guys like having X's in your name. I haven't don't seen you? anyone like you around here before. You must be one of those visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. How are you enjoying your time here? Ooh, is Jolex cooking? I can't wait. Give him this spith basil. Spice stew isn't the same without a little spith. Maxon likes his food spicy. I once saw him add amber spice to paraca wings. I'm going to just sit, nod my head, and pretend I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, God. Ah, uh, hello, friend. Are you looking for something? All I have is some Nimian sea salt. Do you need it? Yes, yes, I, now, I need Wixen, the Nimian sea salt. He's a reliable guy. You might even say he's the uh, Nimian salt of the earth. Shoot me. 
to someone, anyone, and my career as the hard master to shoot me. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Hi there. Are you enjoying your stay in the Delta Quadrant? Is there anything you need? Um, I think they put the wrong voice in you. Or maybe they accidentally put you in the wrong model. <laughs> um, did anyone else hear that? Certainly. I have a bottle of Rengonzo from my last trading trip. I was saving it for a special occasion, and today certainly fits. Thank Galaxians you. Galaxians are a warm and generous people. Thank you for that. Um, could someone check that person's voice box? Now, is this one gonna sound like a guy? Hello! You must be one of Neelix's okay, friends nope, from the Alpha nope, Quadrant. Thank you for repairing our shield generators. Is there anything I can do to help you? I'm looking for some spices. My mate gave me a bit of Prishik last Prixen. Would that help? Oh my god, where are with these people and their axes? Alex is like a mother to all the children here. She always has a bit of candy in her pockets for them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm holding them all at gunpoint. Get this over with, please. Oh, thank you so much. I'll save you a bowl of stew. Sure, I love spicy food. Why not? I can always just feed it to a tribble or something. I need to scan the route we'll take to the colony. But the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. Would you be willing to help me? By adjusting the sensor array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, left and right, you can point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Uh, be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will be useless if that happens. I am a tactical officer, ma'am. You hear me? A tactical officer. That is clearly something for a science officer. I can't Why thank are you, you asking your my help? help? Dex is going to be fine. The doctors say she'll be up and around in no time. I need to Good return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. Yes, sir. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxians have much to do. No, just please get me out of here, please. I think this stuff is... <sighs> Did I really have to say Alliance? I spent too many years playing World of Warcraft to hear the term Alliance and think positively. Alright, Tuva, get back on your own damn ship. Thank you for all you have done for the Talaxians. I believe that they will be a valuable ally to us in the days ahead. That would not have been possible without your assistance. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then, live long. And prosper. Yeah, I just saw you last week on the last thing I had our to do with you. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join us in our new adventure. I'm coming, Neelix. Honestly, Tuvok, I, I think you should just stop saying live long and prosper at this point. Because we just keep running into each other. Just, just say see you next week. Are you week. ready to depart for new Talax? Yep, yeah, let's go.
Just hoping you didn't settle on a planet with some uh, flowers that turn you all goo goo gaga and then try to kill everyone else. Are you detecting the theta radiation spikes? Those levels have been normal and steady for weeks now. What could have happened? Oh god, I'm getting Mass Effect Andromeda vibes. Yeah, we decided to settle knowing we'd have 300 year old information. So, oh my god, something blew up somewhere. Oh, wow, it's actually pretty cool. I'm liking these ships. I don't know why. I mean, I complain about Federation ships just being flying saucers with sticks, and this is literally just a. <laughs> uh. Alright, scan radiation. This looks like intentional, though, I'd probably say. Theta radiation could mean only one thing the Malon. They lack the technology to recycle antimatter waste, which has led them to develop an entire industry around dumping theta radiation in various areas. We can't survive on new Talax if the Malon are going to use it as their personal garbage dump. Wait, why don't we just give them the technology so they stop doing this shit? Seriously? Oh, no, wait, if they've developed an entire industry around it, that means that they have probably tanked their economy if we gave them that technology. <laughs> Hello, Malon. Unknown vessel, this site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own dump site. Yeah, we're not dumping anything Why? here. I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet. Leave now or I'll kill you. Beam aboard their ships. I want to execute them personally. Beam aboard their ships and order their crew to stand down. Take them all captive. I'll see that each and every single one of them. I've been waiting too long for something to kill. Shit, I'll just keep killing you guys. We can clear out this radiation pretty quick. We claim this shit first. Back off. to lose to literally garbage truck ships. <laughs> Please die. Oh, I will happily, happily blow up your damn battleships. I want to beam... Uh, okay, if we can't destroy the ships, at least let me beam aboard them so I can kill them all barehanded. I don't like them, so I want to kill them now. I am a very simple person. Destroy! Now that I've shown you my military superiority, 
Listen to what I say or I'll kill you. Enough! You've ruined me! Wrecked my ship! At least spare my life! Find another planet to dump on or I'll kill you. All of you. Every the single one of gone, you. But the radiation is still around. Oh, what can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if it's... Yeah, just give us a second. We said we could clear this out. I I just got finished blowing up some ships. But I said, give me a second. I'll get this all cleared up, squared away, and you can go do whatever you want with the damn plane. Oh, had to go on a peaceful mission as a member of an alliance. <laughs> but at least I got to blow things up. A little bit. Why did we have to spare his life, though? I wanted to beam aboard their ship and cut them down one by one with their bat with my bat left. And wait, Voyager, if these are your friends, why the hell aren't you the ones doing this? Thank you so much for all of your help. You are a true friend to me and to the Talaxian people. Your crew will always be welcome on Utalix. And good luck in your voyages. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Because of you, I got to go kill some polluters. Which is something I'm sure every environmentalist has wanted to do and has rarely ever done, so. I mean, I didn't kill any of them, but I did get to mess them up a little. The Malons were causing problems? I'll make a note of that. Neelix has sent word that the migration of the Talaxians is going smoothly. We have sent several ships to ensure that they are protected from any more Malon incursions. Our first venture into the Delta Quadrant appears to be a success, but we can't rest. There will be more challenges for us soon enough. We have received a distress call from a Federation starship, the USS Callisto. It seems the researchers found more trouble than they can handle while exploring the Delta Quadrant. Yeah, we can't have the Federation representing us. They'll think we're damn pushovers! <laughs> okay. He just picked up a new torpedo! Oh yeah, it's definitely an improvement. Now I just need a transphasic projectile weapon. Because I like my house Martok stuff. And I have no intention of getting rid of him. Leave my house Martok stuff alone, people. Leave me with my house Martok! Oh, wow, I didn't refine and do it with him. Wait, how much time do we even have? Okay, I didn't even check. 20! Let's go. Oh. Well, um... Hmm. That is a ways away. That was stuff I think we'll be there pretty quick. Right! I do not want to do any patrols. Leave me alone. You know, you think they, like, properly label systems where you can do patrols, you know? I mean, because as it stands now, I have no idea what I can and can't patrol. So if I want to look for it, I have to look it up. Which means I still have to find it on the damn map. Or I just have to go to each and every single system. And check to see, can I do patrols here? Can I do patrols there? Where or oh, where can I do patrols? What was that? Nowhere? Okay. Alright then, let's scan the wreckage. Apparently these Federation people can't even handle themselves in deep space. 
You have to have the USS Enterprise in your name to survive in any capacity. <laughs> Seven of Nine, part of a Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. Ah. Oh, I really want to do off this option. Yeah, but let's be nice. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost's defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. Alright then, here's hoping it's someone fun to kill. Now, where's the space station? Okay, there's the space station. Space stations, they need constant maintenance and influx of resources, or everyone on them will die. If I'm ever in space, please station me on a planet. At least that takes a bit more effort to blow up. Energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Attention, trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth Alliance space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. His whole head looks like an ankylosaurus. <clears throat> looks like an ankylosaurus. <laughs> His head is just an ankylosaurus attached to a body. <laughs> ah! Oh, I'm gonna kill you. try to like warp away or do some uh, stupid shit that won't work. I'll just kill them. They're just delaying the inevitable. Die. Why can't we just uh You know what? Contact the Ferengi. Get me some Ferengi businessmen on board. I want to establish a Vader radiation cleanup crew, and I want to bankrupt and just just destroy the Malon economy. Not even because I care about the environments of other planets, but just for fun. Really, I want to see them crying in the streets, destitute. They have annoyed me. Their entire species must suffer! That includes you. Do you think I care whether or not you send bruises after me? Okay, power to weapons, heal the hull. Okay, activate that. Activate the tech pattern Omega. And Alpha. Rapid fire. Delta. Fire torpedoes! This alliance isn't a thing. Let me just enjoy this as a 
have your theory for the tornado. <laughs> It might seem like we're losing terribly, but I'm actually winning. And no one say otherwise. Oh, destroy your economies too! Hey, I know! Let's send Madron to the mainland! I'm sure he'd love the opportunity to tank an entire economy just to make some money. And then I'll go kill him! Because I'll know exactly where he is! Alien vessel, you have violated the Moth facility and will be. Ha! Yeah, that's right! You should be running scared! Uh, <laughs> where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. Clearly won? I think I could have taken out this. <laughs> I am kidding. I would have died. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Terray homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. I'm assuming Iconians... The Terray are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. Eh, uh, no, the Vox definitely aren't the ones who did it, because they're probably just thinking the same thing. They want the underspace, too. They're probably just going to assist them and hopefully gain access to it, because... It's, seeing as they all live in the Delta Quadrant, the Terray would probably know Voth ships. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. This battle will be glorious! Take me to the Terray system! I want to destroy my enemies! arrived in the Terray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging Terray vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. Hmm. Yeah, this may be in Conians. Damn, every time we see one of these dreadnoughts, they're getting blown up! <laughs> Whoever that these assailants are, the technology yeah. is exceptional. Even the Borg do not have ships such as these. Oh dear, we may be fighting Iconians. Or Lachi, maybe? You want some? I don't care who you are! I'll give you some! Oh, oh, shit! Okay, never mind. Terray are dead. This may be the Iconians. They're one of their servitor species. If they could defeat the Terray and just, just destroy access to the underspace, then they'd probably have an easier time and even gain access to it for themselves. I'm surprised no one's tried to contact the Terray before. He was saying it was difficult to contact. You know what I mean. Oh, 
Oh yeah, these are definitely a servitor race of the Iconians. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. Damn it. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Ah, damn it. Alright. No negotiation with the Tere. Blow up the planet. Then you will be loyal to the death. That was a lovely negotiation. The surface of the Tere homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Tere do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them. But the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. Alright, let's do it. Beam me down. I'm surprised they haven't made more Star Trek games. I mean, you have a lot of material to work with here, especially if you just ignore the Federation for once. Like, start out as, like, a Jem'Hadar, born in the ranks, you know, do a full-on open-world RPG sort of thing with it. Except in space! The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. Alright, let's turn on this damn grid. Does that look greener than usual? It, it really does look greener than usual. Huh. I don't know, this plan is just weird. There was a firefight here. One of the Tere is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Alright then, get him up. Hmm, I'm guessing... Yeah, this is definitely maybe Iconians. They will know the might of Yakes Taraka. My name is Bellus. You're from the Klingon Defense Force, right? Correct. What the fuck the happened? ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls, and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. You are not to Ray. If I may, underspace is a network of subspace corridors that extend through much of the Delta Quadrant. Voyager was pulled into one when its warp field interacted with the corridor's radial wall. At the time, we speculated that the corridors would speed our journey back to Federation space. That was not possible. Why are if you're seven and nine, why aren't you in your normal like a uh, silver thing? The attackers were Vodwar. Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault. <laughs> Federation, you fucked up. Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I... I would know. Who are the Vodwar? This is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vodwar, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader in a moment of curiosity. I didn't know their history. <laughs> the the Vodwar used Fuck underspace you, to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together that they were defeated. At the time we encountered them, when I... when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. But it wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. However, the Vodwar we encountered did not have a level of technology like what we face here. This is far beyond anything the Vodwar are capable of developing in such a short amount of time. Mm. 
Okay, so the Iconians gave them the technology My probably. analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to reestablish the grid. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. Alright, I'll help you out. <laughs> Voyager. Federation, y'all fucked up. You literally gave the Iconians another tool. Congratulations. I blame myself for the Bodwell's return. It was a door best left unopened. That's why you don't await attention. Everyone watching, if you encounter something in cryostasis, do not open it. Wait, investigate, do everything else. But for the love of God, don't just randomly open it because you're curious. Or else shit like this happens. Oh, there's actually one possible and the other possible. Because it could be friendly. Like if you encounter the preservers in cryostasis or something. Anyway, point being... If you're gonna awaken anything from cryostasis, awaken only Complete one steps in the and under order severe to initialize God. and align the node. First, you must access the AI subroutines. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic dampeners. Wait, what? Finally, you must establish the. Why aren't you doing it? You're the fucking liberated Borg. You do this. I'm the tactical officer. I know how to shoot things. This is some bullshit. Okay. Hi. Ah, oh, you took a long time to actually become hostile there. You okay? You doing alright? Good. Now let me kill you. Okay, now can I just establish a satellite uplink? Uplink established. Considering how crucial this facility is, it's poorly defended. I mean, even if they were able to get drop pods behind all your uh, satellite defenses, you should have uh, you should have had a much better complement of soldiers here. How they got some reconnaissance. When we first work. rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. Well, I guess you thought wrong. Come on, they must have had some historical records somewhere <laughs> wherever you found their cryostasis things. Yeah, this is definitely all Voyager's fault. However, I am not with uh, the Federation. I am with the Klingon Defense Force, and we would never do something that stupid. Hopefully, I don't know. I've never, I haven't watched enough Star Trek to be able to say that for certain. But... Analysis complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Next, you must reinitialize the connect. Finally, you must. Take core matrix. And it's uh, inertial dampeners, kinetic dampeners. Yeah, this really is all your fault. So <laughs> have fun with that. 
defense node online. Now, you see, unlike the Vodfly, we of the uh, KDF would happily welcome you as allies. And you might even command your own ships. You'd still control your sector. It would just technically be under the Klingon flag. Join us. And when we go back to war with the Federation, you could take revenge on them for this bullshit that they started. Damn, we're still at war with the Federation. These guys would make perfect allies. They already hate the Federation because of the stupid shit they did. What about the allies here? We must inform our superiors about the Vagwa threat. Okay, another threat. Lately, all we're encountering is threats. At this point, why don't we just blow up the rest of space, load up some Omega particles, drop them in these locations, and set them to detonate after a period of time for us to get out and dodge. Send everyone here back to the damn Stone Age. Yeah, problem solved. Sure, we would screw over... <laughs> God knows how many space-faring life forms here. Oh. Oh, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned next time, where Seven of Nine tells us continues to tell us how the Federation fucked up the Delta Quadrant. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like and want to come subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, etc., etc. Goodbye, humans and now humans alike, and good ever applies to you.